This is the match that we're waiting for right here. It's Komonomichi. Suji versus Yu Vega. I don't, I don't think it's fair to say that uh, Boxer's reversal is the same as Claw's. Boxer has that slow, slow headbutt. Yeah, but I mean, Boxer can be safe, John. Wait, what? Did they just end? Hold up. A good Samaritan health system. Uh, hold up. <laughs> I don't know the random the end of the video. They're probably gonna restart it, so we'll just chat from here. I'll throw on some music. Gotta figure out what's going on. Wait, why am I getting banned? Why do I get banned? Yeah, they, they just went offline, so I think they're going to bring it back up in a couple of minutes. But yeah, what's up with everyone? You guys ready for the uh, FT10? Yo, what's up, Loraldo? Uh, also got also got not that bad like I mean obviously there's some matchups where he kind of dominates but like claw claw chun boxer sim I still put them above also got I might be you know yeah it might just be my opinion but yeah those characters definitely I think Kind of go more ham than Ulta got. I, I guess the, the question is since you have Claw, Chun, Sim, top three, is it Boxer next or is it Ogot next? Uh, for me, I put it as Claw. Well, Sim, Chun, Claw in whatever order. I don't really care what order because it doesn't even matter. After that, I put Boxer and then Ulta got. DJ, Ryu, Guile, Honda, so on and so forth. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's the general general consensus. Yeah, I guess we're just going to wait until they go live again. And uh, we'll share the video. Oh, all right. So about 30 minutes or so. Yeah, because I think they said they were going to start it at uh, five, around five, to, like 15 minutes from now. So maybe the video will be back up in 15 minutes and then, uh, you know, we'll get to see it. So in the meanwhile, we can just hang out, hang out here and shit. Their, uh, their YouTube says, I, I sent you that link. I think it might be in 45 minutes. Oh, really? So what, how can I entertain you guys for 45 minutes? <laughs> I guess I can just throw on one of their old videos. We'll just leave that playing in the background. Uh, I don't know. You guys want to watch some Marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just throw on... Um, I don't know. What is this? Uh, East West from a week ago or something. Yeah, we'll just leave this on. I'll just have it muted. This is some time for Dimitri mirrors. I'm not going to play online right now. I'm just chilling. But, uh, yeah, so Komonomichi will start in about 30 minutes or so. Or 45 minutes or whatever. So, we'll just leave these, uh, just something for you guys to watch. Put on some alpha. Yeah, this is Gurigura versus Makiri.
Oh, and I should also show you guys tomorrow's event. Yeah, we can talk about that. All right, here we go. So, um, <clears throat> so we have the space shuttle uh, charity event. There's a whole video I got to share with you guys, but I guess I'll just show that tomorrow. I don't want to like mix events right now. It's already super confusing with time zones and stuff. But uh, if you look at the bottom there, 8 p.m. Japan Standard Time, uh, 4 a.m. Basically around this time, 4 a.m. Pacific, and then uh, um, in Euro around 1 p.m. So there'll be a uh, East-West battle and then first to five exhibition. The first first to five is already confirmed, which will be uh, um, Tamashima versus Kuru Vega. So yet another boxer versus dictator. And for every $100, uh, there'll be another first to five exhibition. Viewer's choice, but I'll try to, I'll try to, you know, kill the matches that the people really want to see. So... <laughs> Yeah, I'll do my best for that. There's custom artwork created by uh, Yuichi Tanaka, who's uh, a, an illustrator and animator for a bunch of like manga and stuff. Or well, basically an animator. So um, yeah, there's gonna be like goods that are created, like a uh, book and some illustrations and stuff like that. Yeah, it's 5 a.m. here right now in uh, West Coast, 8 a.m. East Coast. Um. But yeah, so hopefully, you know, we can raise funds for uh, Space Shuttle Arcade. And, uh, you know, it's going to be streamed in three languages. It's going to be in English on my channel, French on Bazooka's channel, and then Japanese on uh, Mao's YouTube, as well as his Twitch. So we'll be taking donations. You know, let's, uh, uh, let's try to support. I know that the time zones are not very friendly, but... If you're up at this time now, you should definitely be up at this time tomorrow to try to help out. Lastly, you can see on the left-hand side, the East-West. So it's a 10v10. Um, you know, you got Mal, KKY, TMF. Just those three names alone is already like, holy crap, this is stacked. Um, they'll be going up against the likes of Tamishima, Hakase, Noguchi. Noguchi just winning X-Rare, you know, a week or two ago. So, yeah, uh, you don't want to miss this event. Uh, about 22 hours from now, something like that, 23 hours from now. So set your calendars or your reminders, whatever you got to do. But, uh, this will be, this will be a fun one. You're going to be up for it, Sean? Um, I'll be up later. <laughs> probably in the, in the middle of the stream is when I'll probably wake up. Uh, yeah, Super V. I can get the Match Arena link now, I guess, um, for anyone who wants to. You would also do, like, a direct, uh, donation to Mal's PayPal. Um, I still need to talk to Mal to see, like, how we're gonna track, um, the donation progress. Because there's gonna be a Match Arena as well as this, like, PayPal thing. So, as the donations are happening live, we're gonna have to, like... You know keep adding stuff up and uh making sure that we're getting all the first of fives recorded like you know called based on the amount donated but yeah let me go get the match renal link real quick the team captains are mao and tamashima so i'm assuming that they'll be the anchors Yeah, anyway, that's tomorrow's event. Let's go back to tonight's or today's or whatever. It's going to be starting in a little bit. And uh, should be should be a good one. My prediction, honestly, if I had to say, is uh, <laughs> you make a 10-4 over Suji. Sorry, fellas, for all the Suji lovers out there, but 10-4, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> I, uh, I want Suji, but, but my gut is telling me 10-8. Uh, you Vega. Ten eight. Okay. Okay. Um yeah, I mean there's a reason why we have Sean on commentary for this one. You know, Suchi is Sean's uh older brother. Um I checked, you know, the, the birth certificates and you know the DNA tests are definitely related. So Suji is uh Sean's older brother. And uh, you know, he's just rooting for, rooting for his boy. I mean they even play the same color. But this is you, Vega, we're talking about here, you know? 
I yeah. should start playing Boxer just because of Suji. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You know? And, uh, yeah, it looks like a lot of people in the chat are calling for you, Vega. Now, the matchup itself, like, Boxer, Boxer wins. Boxer makes Dictator bleed. But if Dictator does get a knockdown, he, he gets a guaranteed save jump. At which point, like, Boxer now has to deal with low forward scissor kick or throw. So, at least, like, Dictator is able to at some point get in. But if, if he's losing, you know, like, if Sushi, if Boxer is losing, he can just kind of go super crazy scumbag mode and just, like, grab all day, mix up with low, low forward, low roundhouse, um... You know, random dash up or can tag Devil's Reverse, head stomp, scissor kick if you do the diagonal Devil's Reverse. I mean, uh, dash up or the one that's with down toward. So there's like a lot of different things that, um, that Boxer can do to shut down Dictator. Uvega has like the clutch though, and he's been more actively playing than Suji, so that's like another reason why I give him the edge. But yeah, they have a history. Um,. Do you think that's that's what's gonna decide it? Just the the active between each player, the activity between each player, how Uvega is more active. Well, absolutely, because Uvega hasn't like really dropped the you know he hasn't dropped at all. Like he's been pretty consistent. I think there was at one point where maybe it was a little bit of a lull and he didn't have like the strongest performances, but lately, you know, beating Kotaka Shoten at uh, Kemo Namichi and then went in excess, you know, pretty strong performance at X Rare, uh, beating uh, Shogatsu in that first attempt special. Uh, I, I just feel like Uvega is back in that top form. It's it's very rare where he's not playing his best. And then, you know, Suji, we already mentioned, has not been, you know, playing uh, as much, but he's been in the lab. Um, you know, I've seen him playing a lot, actually grinding this very specific matchup. Uh, but even based on those results, I still give the edge to Hugh Vega, even though he's been grinding. Suji in his prime, I mean, there's matches from like, uh, old Star Cup, or, uh, yeah, maybe it was a Star Cup tournament where, uh, Hugh Vega took it over Suji. For me, I mean, if I had to be quite honest, I'd say like... The, the most proficient boxer of all time was uh, um, Shiki. This is my opinion, by the way. There, there's no, there's no facts to what anyone says, right? Like, I think that's the general consensus among yeah. Japanese boxers as well. Oh, my man set the alarm. I see you, just in case you overslept. Yeah. <laughs> the option select boys, but um. Yeah, I don't think Suji really, like... <laughs> yeah, what's up, Mad King? Yeah, for me, I don't think Suji really, like, used all the tech that Boxer had. But he had, like, the, you know, he also had a clutch factor. He had that danger zone play where you never really feel safe against him. But as far as, like, technical gameplay, I think Shiki was the Boxer who kind of, like, really perfected the character. Um... But yeah, like Suji, basically Suji, Shiki, were always like top two. Um, after that, like tier down would be like uh, Tamashima. Tamashima, Superstar, Alabama. And then, you know, the tier below that is, you know, basically like, you know, the like many of the other boxers we have now. Like Nikaiten is also pretty high up there, I'd say. But like Nikaiten, <laughs> Nikaiten is an all around. Um, Riz has definitely made me sad in this matchup. Did I? I don't know if I did that. But, um, yeah, Nikaiten is also, like, a very technical sound player. But he's more of, like, a 2x... Like, I see more as, like, a 2x player, not really a boxer player, per se, because he does a lot, like, behind the scenes, and he's just really good at the game. Like, Nikaiten is one of the best sparring partners you could have, because he's just good with every character. Um, but, yeah, he's also obviously very strong. I still put... Shiki and Suji, the tier above. Yeah, MB uh, also been around for a really long time. Um, I remember way back when I used to watch like the Master Secret Cup videos and all those old school tournaments. I, I think like shit, MB like MB is Suji level scary. You know, like you you don't drop your guard on him. One one mistake and you're done. 
Like, he, he'll make you really feel the pain from trying to, like, reversal throw, and then you get hit with, like, a little strong, little rush. I feel like the difference between Shiki and Suji was kind of like going back to that conversation we had, I think, like, two days ago, where, like, character skill versus player skill. And Shiki's kind of like both, right? Whereas Suji's more of a a player. Yeah, Su Suji's more like intuition. Shiki is more textbook. Like, sh well, Shiki's got like, like not just like not that he has textbook, like he wrote the textbook. You know, like he is a textbook. He, yeah. I mean, that's why they, they named moves after him: the Shiki Upper, Shiki Buff. You know, Shiki Crazy. Like every everything is like named after Shiki for a reason. He was the one who would punish, you know, low drills from Dalsim just with Crouching Fierce. That's a Shiki Upper. But Suji has always been dominant because of, you know, just just who he is and his play style. Just kind of crazy, but um, I don't know. I guess a comparison I would make that might be more relevant for, like, US players is you know, Alex Valle and John Choi. Like, John Choi is Suji, Alex Valle, I mean, uh, John Choi is uh, Shiki, Alex Valle, Suji, more like, like rush down and just playing by feel. And but John Choi is like all textbook, you know, he's the Shiki. I'd say that that's like uh, an American analogy that I can make that that could be helpful for having you guys understand their play styles. But anyway, Suji can definitely, I don't know. Like just start mauling. I wouldn't be surprised if Suji Suji gets like a three zero lead at the beginning, and then Uve has to start coming back. It's like Shiki's Michael Jordan, and then pick like Larry Bird, Magic, any of those guys, and that's Suji. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it it sounds it sounds crazy because we're obviously holding like Suji to a super high level, but yeah, I guess the, maybe the consensus is that Shiki's up there and you know this is a good chance for him to be like i don't want to live in that shadow if i can be you vega then like i'm up there uh you know this name that we've been saying for a bit uh you know about shiki shiki's also pretty much retired um i don't think i've really seen him play since like togeki 2012 or something so in that time actually you vega ocv'd shiki so the team that he ocv'd was in order Muteki, Nuki, Shiki. Uvega, OCV, that team at SBO. British analogy? Alright, so, um, you know, Suji's like the pub, and then I don't know what the hell, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> British analogy, let me think of one. Yeah, you think of one. Uh, Yotsume says that uh, Shiki's on FC2 sometimes. I don't know. I mean, a lot of strong players are on there, but, uh, but like, okay. British analogy. All right, go uh, ahead. Suji's like Manchester United and Suji's like Chelsea. <laughs> I don't get it, but, uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know. Hopefully our British friends get it. All right, let's see if, uh, their stream went live yet. Do you know? Yeah, they're live. They've been live. No one told me about it, but they are live. Let's get some audio. They just start? I guess they did just start. Yeah. I think there's a button check, though. Damn, good thing I checked. What the hell? Button check, boys. And you can see uh, my screen, right? Yeah. I have both windows open for uh, chat. Yo, and they got, they got Morisaki in the building, too? 
Morzaki on commentary with Nikai Ten. Yo, this is like boxer dictator night. We got me and Sean. We got Morzaki, Nikai Ten, Suji, and U Vega. Let's go. Yeah, what's up, Carlos? あの、Damn, a very elaborate button check. You guys can start making predictions. Suji versus Juvega. I think if, if Suji wins, it's going to be 10 9. I don't think it's going to be anything other than that. They gave the good morning shout out to us, I think. Oh, I must mean, have missed it. Yeah, they pulled the Ohio. They pulled the Ohio on us. <laughs> <laughs> ちょっとお待ちください。あの、もう一回デカで入っててもらっていいですか？えっと。さあ、もうすでにコメントくれてる皆さん、ありがとうございます。Alright, here we go, fellas. I guess sir. Nah, not quite yet. Looks like another button check. はい、本当ありがとうございます。大輔さん、またスパチャありがとうございます。清野さんからも興奮のメッセージをいただいてます。えっと、ルールの確認なんですけども、え、小物道公式ルールとして、9対9で並んだ時は、あ、基本的に10分選手。9対9で並んだ時はそこから2本選手のデュースの割合。I or, I mean, it's fine. It might be behind like 10 seconds, but I mean, if you guys are only watching here, it's fine, so whatever. <laughs> no spoilers if you're watching it live somewhere else. Okay. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Alright, yeah. I forwarded. You were right. Here we go. Alright, fellas. Let's get it. Again, if you want to support their channel, you know, you can see there's a lot of donations happening on their stream. This is exclamation GSV to get to their stream. And uh that's it. Alright, fellas, first to ten going. We got sushi, player one versus Uviga. P two. Alright, starting it out with that. Kick throw. Try to bait a headbutt. <laughs> nice crush and medium kick. That's yeah, that's the magic button right there. What? No way, bro. Oh. That's standing roundhouse punish. Yeah, that's scary. You don't want to whiff that button in this match. So that wasn't a whiff. That was a reaction. Nice bait right there. That's the thing. Like, Suji does go for a headbutt and pressure. What? Jab buffered is a low rush. Oh, 
Yeah, see, he, like, between every, every pressure, that was a reversal headbutt even, so he's not waiting for any kind of tick. He just, as soon as you will go for it and get the knockdown, it's scary. There we go, the dash upper, beating the scissor kick, jumps out of the cross-up. Hits a combo. Oh, the reversal throw. Yuvi is already committed to go for a tick row. Here we go. Low forward, low forward, double D. No. Oh, that's a setup. That's a setup. You blow up a reversal throw with that. So he ended up getting the dash straight instead, influencing the uh, the charge. Here, one more for Sun. Nah, stays crouched. Random dash upper. The combo. Got it. So the, the jump low kick stand short is a frame trap. Dictator can do uh, low forward to blow up the crouch attack or he can throw. So that's why Uvega, anytime he does jump low kick, it makes you not want to crouch attack, which is why Suji's getting hit by all those throws. He's too scared to crouch attack, so he's taking the throw and taking the full damage. Anytime you see jump low kick, yeah, sir, there he crouch attacked, but. Whoa, that block string. What? <laughs> He's trying to bait that scissor kicks out with the standing jab. Nice. Medium cycle. What? Uh oh. It gets out of the headbutt. And it's another safe jump. 7 11. Yeah, so right there, the, the guard uh, knee press nightmare is scary because Boxer can turn things around if he blocks it. Nice sick throw, and he blew up the crouch tech there as well. Three. There goes a little frame trap from Boxer as well. Wow. Yo! Low jab, what is this tech? Devil's reverse, it's a low jab, low jab, low port. This is new tech. <laughs> Yo, that's so OD. How do you get charged? Like, how do you get two low jabs and then what the hell? I think even they were talking about it right there. Look at that, no stand short this time. He's really mixing up the block strings. Whoa, he did this TPU tech? Mm. Oh, he did the CPU. He did jump jab, low jab, head stomp. What? <laughs> Ah, here we go. That's good trades and jumping in. Yeah. Whoa! Overhead? Nah, he still got out of that. Ah, walked into the head stomp. Reversal throw. Yo, every first attempt, you Vega makes up some new shit. That match versus Kotaka, he came. Oh, wow. Roundhouse scissor. Nice. Guard. Reversal throw. No tech. Miss a Punisher with Stan Schwartz. A low strong guy boxer out. Dash upper. Nice 50 50 right there. And we got it. Also, what's up, Borning Bernie? Good morning. I feel like Suji hasn't really capitalized um, off the throw mix-ups yet. Well, he went for it that one round, but, you know, Juve go with a reversal throw. Yeah, yeah. Like, Dictator needs to reversal throw to stay alive in this match. Like, cross-checking won't do anything for you because it's a grab throw, so you have to reversal throw. Juve again trying to bait some headbutts. Nice, Suji waiting this time. Oh! 5! 55. That cheap neutral fierce. 
Yo, what's up, Nitro Flame? Oh, we're for the walk up throw. Ended up getting Psycho Crusher there. Wanted a sack throw. Oh, one more for Sun. Not gonna get it. He went for it though. You Vega tried to throw out a button tray with that low rush. Walk up super. Nice dash upper. Should be able to. Oh, he missed a safe jump. Still alive though. Nice. Held it down. Chip super for the win. Yep. yep. Crazy boys. 2 2. Yeah, Suji just kind of plays like the fundamentals. He kind of does it pretty well. Meanwhile, you think it's yeah, hella yeah. nutty right now. <laughs> Alright, cross up low. Nah, just sits at the throw. Yeah, I like that. Is this time Suchi not going for the headbutt, waiting with low strong. I think you definitely need it. Like, you can't just random headbutt in close proximity like that. It's kind of dangerous. Oh, you make a shot. Uh oh. Dash up into the throw. Sack throw. You make a block with his face. Oh, horseplay. This is Komo no Michi. Not to be confused with Kemo no Michi. Hey, roundhouse. Four. Look at the damage on that. This is Suji pressure right here. This is Suji. Yep. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Suji will make you freaking regret pressing buttons. He's so good at, with the throw after the tap. Four again, dude. Four is his minimum. Four is his minimum, bro. Walk up throw. Here we go. Should get a trap here. You try to bait super possibly. Jump back strong. Lost a charge, head stomp, jump back, medium punch. Oh my god. Cross up into fadeaway, boys. That was sick. Uh oh. Bait to super. No, he didn't bait. He contested with the jump in, so Boxer does have the ability to just bait the super by like neutral jumping. I learned that the, uh, the hard way against Murasaki. Oh, just uh, go, trying to go for the safe jump? Yeah, and against the super, and I got blown up like four games. It'd be like that. That's when I learned to never do that. It's not worth it. Alright, 3 2, so far close set. Yeah, you got it. That's another thing about Suji in particular. When he's just jump strong, he always headbutts. And the headbutt's not going to work. He just, I think, does it to get out of the throw, but you're going to need a roundhouse for that. Nice interrupt with the low forward and got the throw again. I like that. Nice jump back, medium punch there. Uh oh, last chance. 50 50. Ah, reversal throw. Yeah, see the weight? And again, baited. The reversal attack, too, so there's no delay from Suji. He just kind of very aggressive, goes right back into it, wants the momentum. Three on the, t on the devil's reverse. Oh, low strong. Yeah, see that? Like, this time he jumps out of the jump strong, but. Willing to take a hit versus getting thrown. Oh! That's, this should be it. Ah, uh, yeah, Yuvega just had the last chance, so trying to go with the roundhouse. Nice reversal throw. Ow, that hurt. One more for stun. Not gonna get it, but. Whoa! A little too high. Still gets a back throw. Jumps out of the crossover, headbutts out of the crossover again. <laughs> I hate that button, dude. It's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, th so Dictator... <laughs> Dictator does have a button to deal with that, but not at that range. At that range, he would have traded, but uh, Sand Roundhouse will blow up low strong. 
There we go. Put on the tap. No charge here, so yeah, he's just gonna do back throw. You lose charge when you jump in like that. Oh, 7 11 with the medium psycho and the frame trap. I might have to use that. Oh, that neutral jump medium kick, delay low forward double knee. Short, short throw. Trying to bait. Yeah, pretty safe. Safe block stream. Once, yeah, once Boxer gets knocked down, you gotta guess, but you can't throw out a headbutt because you're gonna get hit with something big. You gotta use low, strong, or sand jab. And Suji's making his reversals pretty uh, predictable right now for you, Vega. Asked for to score 3 4. I mean, we play this match a lot, Sean. What do you think? I, I mean, in the if, especially if Box is in the corner, like headbutting is just a bad idea. You gotta kind of like get lucky with either the stand jab or the, the headbutt to get out. Yo, again with that trap. So you see, anytime you think it's to a neutral jump roundhouse, Suji's blocking and pressing button, getting blown up with crouching medium kick. You think it really busting out hella new strats right now, stuff that I've never seen. Oh, here we go, headbutt time. Just raw low rush. Oh, no, I, don't... I think he went for the neutral fear staring. Meanwhile, Yuvi can turn into a grappler just to keep the pressure on, does a nightmare knee press. <laughs> oh my god, he almost stole it. Hey, uh, Nesmo. Gone muddle. <laughs> nice. Yep, stand short, double knee. And now he got the safe pressure, stand short. Oh, walk up super good guard. Oh my gosh, dude. This pressure is so OD. 3-5. I guess that's the three options for Boxer. The stand jab, headbutt, or do a dash upper and hope that he jumps over like he did that one round. Yeah, I think low, low strong is the, the button to go to or sand jab, you know? But it's tough to say. I mean, Yuga is mixing up a lot of different, you know, he's adding a lot of layers to the pressure. And right there, he did walk back low strong and it, you know, blew up whatever suit you try to do. Ultra combo. I, I don't practice the Japanese. Oh my god, he got the, he's the red El Rojo Perfecto. Okay. Jump roundhouse throw is dope. Walk up. <laughs> You figure has not mixed up with the frame trap once yet. He's just been going for the throws. That's like that's a lot of strong discipline. Even at a life deficit to only still go for a throw versus a frame trap that can get you to W potentially. Oh, he went for the Uvega die kick. I think if he would have did the Oh my gosh. The dash load a super block he could have won. But that's super hard to do. Miss, miss chance by Suji. Ultra, uh, ultra combo, it's, I don't know, I just... <laughs> just from the past. I don't know. What does Ganbaru mean? The what, hang in there, right? Nice. Draw Oki okay, jumps out of the nightmare. This is huge. Dash upper. Got the grab. What a trade with Stan Jab. There, oh, there it goes. So Uvega actually went for the trap that time. Didn't work out. Dash upper for the win. Oh, Sam medium kick. Blowing up the tap. Yeah, with punish. Yeah, with punish. 
Yeah, right, there. So Sushi this time not opt in a reversal, but there he does. You see what I'm saying? Like, you think he's just always waiting? Like, you think he's playing this at his at his pace? Nice jump back though. That was good. I'm gonna tell you guys some lore. Uh oh. Yep, dash upper again. Stop. Yeah, just escape. It's not gonna auto crack, but it just gets you out of that situation. No. All right, pretty pretty much safe strings and <laughs> the Uvega. Wow, got him at the start. The rising jump, medium punch. Walk up throw. Walk up throw. Quick punished. The frame trap right there. What? This is it. Oh, what? No, he mistimed it. He could have punished that. So, yeah, the, the thing with Yuvega, after he throws Suji, he always does, like, not always, but, like, he'll do a jump over in mid screen, and Suji will always, like, try to headbutt out of it. And Dictator, his jump over, will make the headbutt whiff, and he gets a punish anyway. So that's like Yuvega using anti Suji strat. Like, that's him. Playing the player, not playing the matchup. Nice, the U Vega die kick. So right here, yeah, like that kind of stuff. He's playing Suji. He's not fighting Boxer. He's just countering Suji play cell. Damn. Walk up throw. What? He clipped the feet. He's got to stop doing the jump, and I think he's frame trap. The stun, one, two, yeah. I forgot with that frame trap. You you basically just get the charge for low forward psycho. So that was actually a crouch check from Suji after blocking the stand short. That's why he got blown up by that combo. Again, I think, yeah, Yuvik is just countering Suji right now. This is him playing anti Suji. Uh oh. So Yuvik is going for the sack throw with the jab, not getting it. He went for two sack throws here, didn't get it. Suji getting the upper hand. He did like a cross up. Off the throw. Yeah, see, again, jump strong. And uh, Suji's not opting to go for like an uh, anti air, just headbutt to kind of go on under it. Oh, missed a crouch strong there. Here we go. What? He missed the safe jump completely. You make a new and did medium punch. <laughs> <laughs> That's ego. I again see a jab to trade with the jump in. Jump back MP. Out the bait this time and the chip out. And I think this is gonna be Suji's last game. As I mentioned, the score is gonna be 10-4, fellas. You heard it here first. <laughs> I feel like he played a little more reserved that round. And I think it kind of paid off a bit. Uh, I wonder if he'll continue hanging back. Well, the, the jump back medium punches was is what did it. It's a more safer, like, air-to-air -air counter. Got it. Not going to go for the cross. No, he still gets a cross-up tick throw. It's less ambiguous when the third jump strong is the one-hitter. Got to get out of there, yeah. Scissor kick was not completely safe. What? The 7 Oh, and a reversal throw! Yeah, dev rev out of there. Dev rev out of there. Oh, that was a head stomp. Oh, crouching leg kick. And he got the reaction, boys. Don't jump at me. The reaction, boys. Medium psycho to throw. That's a Murasaki right there. What? He comboed low strong to up. Headbutt. Mm. Got a guard here. They're nice. Low strong and sand jab. At least they traded, but still back in the corner. 
Nice head, but yeah, last chance. Sack throw. Try to bait the super there. Walk back. Slide. Vroom. 9-4. Too many forward jumps from Suji. Yeah, they're getting scoped out by you. Alright, let's go, Suji. We could take six in a row. I think I was talking to Mikiri the other day. He goes, oh, what do you, what do you think? This, I don't know, I was talking to him or I was talking to you. I was like, yeah, it's 10-4. Yeah, you, you told me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 10-4. Well, let's see. No jump strong that time from you, Vega. Roundhouse double knee. Yeah, again. Not willing to block the cross-up, just goes for the head, but eats a roundhouse for free. Ah, uh, here we go. Cross up. Yeah. Nightmare, get out of there. Uh oh. Trades with the roundhouse. Went for the throw. You make a look for the throw. Suji jumped back and gets clipped by the roundhouse scissor and match point. Dash upper. Here we go. Oh, one more for stun. Could be curtains. Good guard. Frame traps. Try to jump back. Sam Pierce clipping. Trade with the roundhouse. Get out of the corner. Sack throw. Low strong. Sam. Oh, shit. All right, that, super. Yeah, he got to get out. It was the only chance. All right, low rush. Staying alive. Dash upper. That round opener in round two also worked out. Look, he can win off of this. One. Mm. Oh, that was so close to stun. No punish on the whiff headbutt. I'm strong. I saw that coming. I was just about to say it. So predictable on that jump. Blocks the frame trap. Walk up super. Good guard. Don't jump. Oh, 55 and ruined my score. For the lore. He's got to mix up the, uh, the uh, dash load ahead, but just to get you bigger to stop anti. Okay. Short throw, short throw, short. Short, short, low forward. Oh, that was, oh, that was ugly. What a block. Nice jump back, MP. Got the tick, though. It doesn't kill. Low strong. There you go. That's a good button. Wow. <laughs> How? How do you do it, you? Got the reverse throw. Yep. Back throw. Almost a stun. Yeah. What? That was not a whip punish. I think you could block that. Alright, it's looking like a GG. Looking like a GG. Unless Suji can get something big here. He got the super. Oh! Stand alive! Trying to beat the super! But a what? That's it. <laughs> the built in slide. <laughs> and Yuvega takes a 10-5 over Suji. GG's. Thoughts? Thoughts and prayers. Oh, they're going to do an interview? I think he, uh, I think he just, I mean, he jumped too much. I think that, that's where Suji went wrong. Damn, I need someone to translate. <laughs> Our boys Murasaki and uh, Nikaiten. Mm. 
あれはもう基本的にはスージーさん全部受けに回ってしまって、ね、相模ガードから向こうのターンということが多かったですね、はい、ありがとうございます、まあ、バイソン的にはあれ空中があのジャンプして落とそうとしたら、はい、まあやっぱちょっと焦り出すんかなとは思うんですよ、はい、でそこでダウン取ったらもうもうベガはすごい美味しいんで、はい、でまあ置き攻めいけますよって感じですよね。はい。ただあれ前ジャンプと二択になってることが多いので、そうですね。難しいですよね。はい、その二択にもすべて勝っていったという、はい、そうですね。はい、ことでしょう。それでは、えー、勝者ゆうべがさんに、えー、一言コメントいただきたいと思います。Yeah, I think I agree. Super. I think,、uh, I think Suji played better when he was not just playing super aggressive. We got, we got to hear the legend speak. You Vega the champ. Plus, we got to tell the best. あの前でホバー出すのはあの、ええ、昨日僕がヘイでやってた動きですよね。そうですね。ええ、あのー、パクらせてもらいました。はい。はい、まああの紫くんだけじゃなくてね。はい。クルベガくんとか、はい、最近強いベガがたくさん出てきてるんで、はいはい、あのー、全部いいとこ取りで。はい。ええ、ただねやっぱり緊張するとなかなか 100% はいはい。力発揮できないというか。はいはいはい、うん。Lately, it looks like u v e g a s been u v e g a s super back in prime. Yeah. Maybe Murasaki was in that, but it's definitely, definitely you again. Oh, me? Oh, yeah, thanks. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's me, Vega. Yeah, Riz, Riz number one. Let's go. That's why the tag is Riz one. That'd be a good player name. Me, Vega. <laughs> <laughs> やっぱりね毎日にやってる人間から比べればどうしてもね練習量で差がついたってところでうんうんうんなかなかまあバイソンベガってバイソンよりって言われてますけど絶対簡単には勝てないんでそうですねはいうんバイソンもそれなりにねきちんと対策 It sucks. I can make out like maybe half of what they're talking about, but not enough to tell you like a complete thought about the matchup meta. They're all like contextual. I need Marcus. Marcus, I need you. Yeah, ma. Ah, ma. Do, do, do. Naka. Ah, at that, mada, naka. Hanashi, shite, kuda, sa. Yeah, yeah. So, kara. Ah, no. Ore, te, yeru, mai, ni, jus, tati, o, nikai, yatta, nde, sho, mura. Ah, so, des, so, des, hai. De, jus, eh, ju, no, kyu. Ju, no, kyu, to. Ju, no, kyu, to, ju, no, ko, des, hai. Ne, da, kara, すごく, ビビりましたよ。はい。ああ、もう、それ聞いて、もう、びっくりして。You think you Vega is going to be back in the next Kimono Michi? Yeah, of course. He's the champ, so. Is ST like the only game that Daigo's been doing that? Like keeping the winner? Oh, well, ST is the only game that keeps coming back because Third Strike, you know, they didn't do it again.、Yeah. Uh, Tigger, I just know, like, it's like a Street Fighter Japanese and. Yeah. Yeah, I mentioned that too.、Uh, super. I said that after the dash low, he needed to mix up the headbutt. Just to keep、uh, you Vega honest. よろしくお願いします。はい、ありがとうございました。ジジス。主催者のあの草さんに変わります。よろしくお願いします
はい、えー、次回以降の小物道について草くんから発表がそうですねあのーあーそうクサクサバックアンドバイクスとりあえずまだ何も決まっていませんというかまあまあ、コロナ禍のせいもありまして、はい、2年。いや、オチャカーは1と55、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、And uh, yep, I may be out for the Zelda do casuals, but the event's over, fellas. GG's, <laughs> thank you.